Ebony V. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining me today. On this channel, I do like to bring you a lot of hair-related content, especially with wigs. So if that's something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. And if you're returning, hey, Shook my fan. All right, y'all. So today we have another human hair slay on a Monday. And yes, it is another Amazon unit. So this is a highlighted V-part glueless curly human hair wig. No lace, no glue, which is always amazing. It is 150% density and I have it in 18 inches. The color is actually TF1B slash 30. Now, of course, there are various ways you can wear a V-part wig. So I'm going to show you at least three different ways that you can wear this wig. So let's just go ahead and dive into the unboxing, the styling, and the installing of this unit. show you this little device I just bought off of Amazon it's like a little wig uh, drying mannequin head let me see what the right word they call it a dry a hair dryer fresh wig head dryer wig stand wig holder mannequin head that's a lot right um, so it helps with drying the wig from inside to outside it's quick it's easy and it's for lace wig scalp cat net um, I just thought this was super cool looking right um, you just stick the blow dryer in here. It has all the little ventilated holes in the head. And it even has these little rubber grips so the wig can stay in place for the most part. But it has some other um, devices as well. I'll show you here in a, mo in a moment. But you basically just put it on your wig stand. And then you just put the wig on here. So this is another little neat tool. This is, I'll show you this when I actually put the wig on. But it helps to hold the wig in place. This little chin strap piece so then you just stick your blow dryer through the hole and my blow dryer is a little too big for this i have a smaller one but i don't feel like going to get it so yeah you put the little hook in the hole put the blow dryer in and then this will help it stay in place okay this part is not as easy as it looks there we go take this off okay so I clearly had to take off this in order for my um, blow dryer to sit up in there so you put it on in there and you turn your blow dryer on and it blow dries your hair like I thought that was super cool but I'll show you um, more of its use once I get the wig on here and how I, how I plan to use it all right y'all so continue watching as I go through my normal process of defining my curly units The wig wasn't really staying in place on this mannequin head, so that's when I decided to go ahead and use the little clamps that came with the head to try to keep the wig in place, and that kind of, that helped a lot, actually. So once you have the hair on the mannequin here, you just simply insert the blow dryer, turn it on, and um, secure the blow dryer, and you can just walk away uh, for as long as you need. I do feel like it's not as fast. Um, it does help the drying process a little bit, but I felt a little uncomfortable just leaving the blow dryer on. basically got my hair prepped for multiple ways to wear this unit 
my hair oh lord it needs to be washed but i knew <laughs> with doing this potential styling um that i'm going to be trying that you know i'm be putting a lot of product and so i was like i might as well just wait until i do that before i wash it <laughs> and wash out all this product so let's go ahead i'm just going to throw this on like normal i haven't cut it i have not cut the v part yet as you see here but i feel like you can wear it just like this as well so i just wanted to show you that so i'm just going i, don't, I usually would have on a wig cap but for this particular wig um i'm not going to wear one and i did shift it to the right um it does come as a middle part I have now shifted it to the right. Super cute. Ooh. So you see this little part? Like you could, if you just wanted it to stay like this, you could put some um, foundation powder in the parting space or whatever you use, concealer, to open it up or brighten it up. Not necessarily open it, um, but it's a little dark right here as it is. Um, and I'm just fluffing out the hair because I've already went through and prepped the hair and defined the curls and everything and um she is a cutie y'all no matter how you wear her i like this i didn't have to do anything i may go through and cut some more layers because y'all know i am i'm extra as a mug i am so extra i know you like just leave it alone no sometimes you gotta do a little extra but she's cute just like this. you see i just threw her on i didn't do anything <laughs> She's already prepped. I already, you know, moisturized and defined her. So all I did was really just throw her on my head. Easy breezy, right? Now this is probably much easier than doing the actual V part method, right? But we gonna see. So let's do that next. seamless and easy and breezy honey i like this oh i like the style super cute and i like the little color highlights at first when i first saw it and pulled it out the package i was like i don't know about this <laughs> i really wasn't feeling the way the highlights were not the color but like just the way they were like but i think i just didn't get a good look or something because i actually like it it looks good on but in my hands i wouldn't feel it super cute so we're going to try one more method, right? And that's with actual leave out. Every part of me, you make it clear to see when it's just 
y'all so this is how it came out with the leave out version not a big fan because i got that good 4c hair so i almost well no i usually do not like trying to blend my hair with other wigs because my hair texture is completely different as you can see like it is that serious 4c so these coils are super tight you see that versus these nice loosey goosey curls and I tried to like just kind of mix them in but if I were to choose between these three options I would just definitely do the no leave out um I just felt like that was the most natural looking and it worked I wouldn't do this leave out but if you have a different type of hair texture the leave out may work a little better for you this is just don't work that great for me Alright y'all, so let's get into some additional thoughts on this unit as a whole. Absolutely love the curl pattern and the color mix as I mentioned. Very nice, super defined curly coils. Love that. Now I've only done one other V-part wig on my channel and then I learned that I'm not the biggest fan of them. Especially if I have to do any kind of leave out because as I mentioned before, it's just not my thing Like my hair just does not and you can still see like as it's drying There's a huge difference in hair um, Texture here like my curls are 4c super divine. You see that like super curly And we got these loose curls. It's supposed to be living with so I always have a problem with that. It's very, very hard for me to blend my 4C hair with any kind of wig, really, unless it's a 4C kind of wig. So, outside of that, though, I absolutely love this wig. I would just rock it as no leave out and call it a day. I would just let my hair stay protected and wear it with no leave out. This unit is 18 inches, which I think is the perfect length. I even think the 150% density is nice and full. We are not lacking at all. This is very nice, comfortable, full density as well. So one of the cons I noticed, um, I guess I only noticed it or noticed it mostly during the washing process. It was shedding heavily, sis, heavily. I was like, why is so much hair coming out? I'm just washing it. But I think I, I got all of it out at that time, you know, by the time that I like detangled the hair because I haven't been experiencing any more shedding since then. But initially, whew, it was heavy. All right, so let's get into the price. As I mentioned before, you can find this unit on Amazon for under $100. It is technically at $96.99 for the inches that I have at 18 inches. Of course, the price does go up with the more inches you you decide to select, and it goes up to 30 inches. And that 30 inches is $275.99. So I also wanted to go back to the mannequin head. I'm not so sure that I'm as much of an advocate as I thought I would be, um, because it requires you to pretty much leave the dryer on, like the handheld dryer on for quite a while. And I guess maybe it's no different than you know, leaving on a dryer that you have to sit under for quite a while. But I was just, I felt a little uncomfortable, like walking off from the handheld dryer. I don't know. It was weird for me. I was like, I don't know. And then I had to leave out. And so I was just, just precautions for me. I was like, I don't know if I would do that. So I may let it dry for a little bit. You know, it is like a nice pre-dryer <laughs> just to speed up the process a little bit. But that's about it. So that's really all I have for you wonderful people today.
of course as always i want to know your thoughts so let me know what you guys are thinking about this v part wig down in the comments below do you like v part wigs is this something you would wear would you rock it as a leave out or no leave out let me know your thoughts down in the comments I thank you all so, so much for rocking with me as always. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I will be sure to catch you all in the next one.